How's it going everyone? Doc here with Eyes Wide Shot Gaming, and we finally have received the new Viper Commandos Warbond, and with it, we have gotten a variety of new weapons, capes, armors, and the sort. But we wanted to have a special focus on the new sidearm, the SG-22 Bushwhacker, and why it belongs not on your hip, but in the trash. Let's dive in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date on all of your Helldivers 2 news, info, builds, and breakdowns, as well as many other games. So we figured many other channels will be covering a plethora of information in regards to this Warbond, which is why we decided to focus on this sidearm. Initially, it was built up to be this one-hitter-quitter in the trailer, showing off a powerful three-chamber sidearm that blows away Terminids and Automatons alike, which unfortunately, in reality, turned out to be more useful as a paperweight than an actual combat. The SG-22 Bushwhacker Shotgun Sidearm seems to not be named after the Craftsman Tool or the Guerrilla Warfare common during the American Revolutionary War, but more so the goofy mashup of a chocolate milkshake and a pina colada drink. We wanted to put it to the test and see its pros and cons in battle. Our main focus was on Terminids because fighting automatons with something this close range seems more of a death sentence than anything else. We noticed that although it does have the option to be used in either a single shot form or a full barrel three-piece exhaust, it still leaves a lot to be yearned for in the form of firepower. Our first test was to see how adept it was at taking down a behemoth or a charger, which as you can already see seems to take an absurd amount of time and ammo when focus firing its leg. In comparison to the Senator's sidearm's ability to take down chargers and behemoths with an average of 6 to 8 shots, the Bushwhacker consumes an incredible 24 rounds on average to drop this Terminid, which means you need to reload 8 times when using this weapon in a single shot form. We followed this up by testing the full 3 shot on the same enemy which led us to 6 pulls of the trigger equaling 18 rounds spent and 6 reloads in total. This might be more worthwhile, but at the end of the day, with this weapon's short range and low damage, we can't find a single reason to bring this confetti gun into battle. Now we understand that most of the time, Helldivers won't be running around shooting a charger to take it down and instead opt for an Eagle airstrike or an orbital. So we wanted to see the Bushwhacker's viability in battle against less armored Terminids, ranging from Hunters all the way to Brood Commanders. So, at short to medium range, the SG-22 Bushwhacker does manage to one-shot many of the weaker Terminids and even Hunters, assuming you are close enough and don't let the recoil send you staring at the stars. But, once we start progressing higher, towards Warriors and up to Brood Mothers, we notice a severe falloff in Zest from this weapon. Ranging anywhere from 2 to 3 shots against Warriors at close to medium range, and anywhere from 3 to 6 shots against Broodmothers at the same range, we realized that this must be a cruel joke being played on us by Joel and the developers over at Arrowhead, because there is no reason to drop the grenade pistol or the Senator and substitute those for the Bushwhacker. Now we can't sit here and say that this weapon is just a complete failure, because it might have some place in our hearts somewhere in the future. The reload speed is not the worst, and the fire rate is very high, but this is blinded by the wild recoil and low armor penetration. We here highly recommend that all you Helldivers avoid this sidearm and leave it on the back burner as it is just not worth purchasing over anything else in the new Viper Commandos Warbond. Even though this weapon does 405 damage and is one-handed, allowing us to run it with a shield, we still can't manage to find a use for it over most if not all other sidearms. We here at Eyes Wide Shot Gaming love hearing from our viewers and subscribers, so please don't hesitate to comment down below and tell us what you think of the SG-22 Bushwhacker and if you believe it's more viable than we see it to be. And as always Helldivers, Thank you for watching, thank you for listening, and until next time, so long.